So now it's time to learn about the new hook. And the new hook we are going to learn is the use ref. Very important hook. And ref is just for reference. And when I click on this, we have this syntax to use this use ref. And to use this use ref, we just need to use this function called use ref and initialized it initialized it with some value. It returns something. And what it return? It returns an object that will persist for full lifetime of the component. And we will see what that mean is. But it has some dot current property uh, that is actually initialized with the past argument, which is the initial value. So let's see this in action and see how actually we can understand exactly the use of use ref. So we have this application where we have this input box where we can add any image link and that can be added to the list. But whenever I refresh this page, I want to focus on this input box automatically focus like this uh, cursor is blinking. So how we can do that? Uh, yeah, we can do that with the ID and let's try to do this and then we will switch to use ref. So here we are and we have this images component. Let me just zoom it out. Yeah. And here we have this input field. If I create an ID and I call it that should be like this and I call this I this input field as input box. OK. And now we have to use the use effect that will be like a mounting part. So whenever this component mounts, so use effect like this and make sure we import it also. And I think it is imported. Yeah. So yeah, that is good. And when I give empty brackets, that means it is just for the mounting. And here we need to grab the that input box so input box is equal to document dot get element by id and id is uh, id name is input box okay after this let's try to log out this input box console log of input box i have saved it and it's now compiling and whenever i go here open the dev tool for edge browser i'm using currently it's exactly same as the uh, Chrome and you can see once this component loads we have this input field which is referencing to this uh, input field and let's zoom this one also so we have this input field first what we need to do we need to make it as a focused element so we have this use uh, effect and we already have this input box so we can say input box dot focus and we can comment this console log now when i refresh this page let's see what's happened yeah here we have this input field and it is now focused the cursor is there but we have done this with the use of core javascript it's not react actually because here you can see we have a document not the react we are digging directly into the dom and that's not the case with react so what we can do we can simply change this to ref use ref and now we are going to create a use ref and as we know we need to say use ref and we need to name this ref so i can say input ref and initializing value with null so there is no value initially and we need to import this very important thing after this instead of these two things first i am going to log the input ref and see what we are getting inside it we have not used this input ref anywhere we have not tied it to anything we are just checking what we are getting when we define a use ref okay so let's refresh this and now there is no focus but we have an object in this object we have this current property you can see here we have this current property which is null 
null because we have initialized it with null. If I initialize it with one, then you can see, uh, yeah, current is one. So whenever we want to use this input ref, we need to use the input ref dot current. So here I can say dot current. Okay, that's we are getting. This means now we should have just one. Cool. So let's get back with this and this with null. Now I'm going to tie or I'm going to connect this input ref to our input field. And uh, where we have, yeah, we have here. So now I can simply say ref. This is the uh, attribute we get for React and then connect it with or bind it with input ref. That's good. This means now when I see this in the log, you can see current property is now connected with the input field we have. Yeah, you can see if I hover over it, it's uh, now showing that input field. That's good. So since we have this input field, we can directly do that focus part. So here we go to the use effect. And now I can simply say input ref. Oops, input ref dot current because remember everything is inside the current. So we need to say dot current while doing the dot current. We are getting the reference to the input field and then we can say dot focus and we can simply comment this out and remove these things and when I do that let's refresh this page and it's not focusing why let's once more try okay that was because I had the cursor on the console that's why it was not uh, focusing but now when I remove it you can see as soon as I refresh the page it's now focusing and it's totally happening inside the react not directly inside the DOM so it's going via the virtual DOM okay so this is how we can initialize and use the use ref